Hello everyone, we are back here with Tao Yang, our guest, special guest MVP. He'll talk about Azure Monitor Alerts today. We'll have a demo. Thanks for coming, Tao. And we also have our hosting, George Arteo. So I'm excited to see this Azure Monitor Alerts in action. Let's make it. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me again. Um, so uh, in the last session, we, we gave an overview on um, the, a bit of a brief history on Azure, uh, Azure Monitor and Log Analytics, and I talk about the overall architecture, um, or how, or how everything hangs together. So uh, in this one, uh, we just want to do a, a short video um, showing you how to create an alert in, in Azure Monitor. So um, if you go to the Azure portal, um, you see Azure Monitor here, or however you want to access it, you can ping it on the on the side of the uh, the list on the menu as well. So, if you go to Azure Monitor, you see the overview page. Um, you know, so the lot of links of to, for you to get started. But if you go to Alerts, and um, you can see uh, I have like I already have some other rules. But in, to get started, um, what we need to do is um, to create an alert and also a action a, a group to say what what's going to what's going to happen when a alert is triggered so uh, let's start with a, a action group first so we'll go to uh, action and you can see uh, we can go to uh, action group uh, action group is actually just a resource type you need to specify where you want to um, where you want to uh, store that so let me pick a a resource group let me say uh, demo um, action group or whatever you want to call it and as you can see that i can um i can do email i can do a push notification i can do sms and i can also do um you know, email to a particular role um, that being assigned in Azure. So let's do email. Um, and so you can do the email here. Um, you can do SMS or whatever you want to do. Um, you can do push notification via the Azure mobile app as well. And then you you, um, you save that. ABC at abc.com. Um, okay. And also, um, so well, alert trigger, you can um, say I want to trigger a automation runbook uh, for my uh, existing actual automation account. Uh, for example, uh, when my service is stopped in a VM, you might you can use an automation runbook to uh, remotely connect to the VM and then reset a particular service. For example. Um, uh, or you can do, um, oops, let me just create, go to, uh, you can create, uh, you can run a function app, trigger a function app, you can uh, trigger a logic, logic app, um, you can, uh, or any third party webhook um, from a third party system, and also ITSM. So, uh, this ITSM connector where, or I don't have any, but um, if you read the documentation, there are a few ITSM products have been supported. Um, for example, um, ServiceNow and System, Service, System Center Service Manager, or SCSM, and then there are a few other ones. Um, so automatically can, you can generate uh, race alerts in those ITSM ticketing tools. So yeah, so I'm not going to create one because I've got so many already. Um, but I already have the uh, um, action group set up. I can create a alert um, to create a new alert rule. Um, so this is where you can choose um, the the uh, the sources. Um, like like I said in the, in the first video, if you want to do matrix alert and if this is some simple alert, uh, simple queries, um, you don't really you probably not don't really need to um, 
uh, use log analytics. For example, I have a SQL database. Um, I have a SQL server, and now I'm choosing a SQL database. Um, then you can see all the metrics that for this particular uh, for this particular resource. Um, And then you can say okay, go greater than or less than or greater or equal at an average type, and then put your threshold value. And you can you can do say um, yeah how oh you can do one minute now. I thought it's one or five minutes, but yeah. So once you enter this, um, say yeah uh, I don't know eighty percent, um, and then select a group. So how you want to do it? Um, contains one email, and, and and then you can give a name, say demo SQL uh, matrix alert, and uh, where you want to put it. So normally, what I do is uh, um, when I'm configuring this for a particular application, I'll add store the. Uh, the alert rule and the um, the action group together with in the same resource group as where the um, the application is. So you know that can so you can manage the life cycle of that together with the application. Once you delete that resource group, when the application is no no longer needed, then your alerts alert rules uh, been deleted automatically as well. And you can give it severity, and and then go create the rule. And then that's that's really that's how easy it is, and and we can do another one. Um, and in this time, let me uh, pick a log analytics workspace. So just select log analytics here, and then uh, it gives me all the workspaces I have in this subscription. I'll pick the one I want to use, and in here I go custom log search or you have any saved queries in your log analytics workspace I will show up in here as well. So let me do a custom log search. Um, I've got this query here. So basically this one is a query the agent heartbeat uh, data. So if you connect a, a, log an, a, a monitoring agent, Microsoft monitoring agent to your workspace, um, it will send a, a heartbeat um, event to your workspace every one minute. So uh, this one, what this one does is that I'm getting the heartbeat data, but aggregate that, summarize that by computer. Uh, but the, the the max time generated. So every log has got a time generated field, which is the the um, the basically this is a like a very this is a un basically a universal field. Like all the logs entry will have this time generated column uh, field. Uh, basically, has uh, the time that uh, the log is generated. So if I do, if I use the max function for on this on this field, that will give me like basically tell me the last time uh, the very latest uh, happy event uh, generated by this computer. So if this um, the latest happy event uh, is uh, is generated over 30 minutes ago, then I can I can safely assume that this machine is offline, and then we'll generate a alert based on that. So this is the query. So heartbeat, and I'm getting the the latest heartbeat event for each computer, and where and also where like you know it's over, and only when the last heartbeat is over 30 30 minutes ago. And if the number of results is greater than zero, then you then basically say if any computers hasn't sent any updates uh, over the last 30 minutes, then I'll um, generate the and ah, in here like in log analytics, you can you can only do five minutes. Matrix alert you can do uh, more frequent than that. So again. Pick a action group. 
demo VM offline. Alert. And let's store it where we want to store it. That's fine. This, by default, this is that um, the uh, resource group where my log analytics workspace is. And then create a rule. And then that is done. So really, um, it's really easy. Um, I think the, the, the UI uh, capability um, is really, really good. Um, you can also, uh, if you um, if you're like me that don't really like to do anything <clears throat> on the portal, you can absolutely uh, create ARM template um, to deploy all this in uh, in ARM template. So uh, re recently, George and I have been um, present in a, a online event called Inside Azure Management. Um, I think it's a uh, two month now. Um, so I delivered a session with um, a, a fellow MEP, uh, Alex Bakinderin. So what we did is a was a rerun. Basically, we, we, the, the second time we delivered this session um, is um, delivering uh, deploying Azure Monitor alert rules using Azure Pipeline. So this is a level 400 um, session. Uh, this is where the um, um, the slide deck I was using before. Um, so, if you go to a, I'm just put it up here. Um, go to this this URL. This URL links to my GitHub repo, and in this GitHub repo, I have some uh, sample uh, ARM templates on how to deploy um, Azure Monitor uh, alert rules and uh, um, and action groups. So. Yeah, Tao. I think when you when you master from the portal, you know, you play, yeah. and when, when you understand the idea that you have, you know, action groups that are triggered by the alerts, and you know, yeah, and when you understand, then you go for automation. That then you have yeah. all that amazing uh, resource. Yeah. So yeah, the the UI always changes. Um, there's enhancement. There's rules like the, the UI, every time I go to the UI. Uh, some I notice something changes, but the code uh, doesn't change as often. What well, the API version changes, but you know the code should still work. So um, I tend to do most of my stuff using um, in code nowadays. So um, once you master that and you want to go a bit further, I want to use leverage uh, ARM templates or CI/CD, and this is a, a, a recommend you to check out my my resource. Um, in in this in this repo here, and that's got a uh, lot of stuff. Um, and also, there's uh, uh, one more thing I want to. Since we're talking about alerting, so um, a good friend of mine, uh, um, uh, Stanislav, um, is also a Azure MVP. He has written a 12-part uh, blog post series on Azure Monitor. Um, it's really long, so uh, but it's really in depth. The twelve blog articles. So if you want to um, get into it, I recommend you to to read his blog post, uh, twelve parts, uh, this series as well. The link is also on my uh, on this Git repo. I got I got a Stan's uh, article link link in here, so you can you can check it out if you want. Thanks, Tao. Yeah, Stan is a very popular MVP and. It's a great content on on yeah. the monitoring. I think the main the main message here is that um, you know you're going to start to understand the idea, understand the concept, then you're going to automation later. And yeah. um, one thing people ask is um, log analytics. Sometimes you don't have to write anything. There are a lot of out of the box yes. uh, metrics and you know things that like you show on the first example. Yeah. That you don't have to write anything, you know, and that's just growing and keep growing and growing. Yes. Then so if if I go to log analytics now, um, uh, go to a workspace. Uh, if you go to the logs, you see you have all of this. I didn't create any of this. They they are the um, they the the, the building sample. Um, uh, queries that already shipped with it. So this is more than enough to get you started. And also, um, 
there's a there's a Microsoft has got a repo. I think the biggest learning curve for you is to learn Kusto, um query language. But the good thing um, is really really powerful. Can be really complicated. Uh, for example, well, let me just show you a query that I've used uh, before. For example, um, you can do like how. Like you, like how I've just shown you, like how easy you can do like a basic performance monitoring on a single threshold, or you know, but it doesn't stop there. Like if you want to get in a deeper, get something like more enhanced capability. Like for example, uh, you want to do the the, the percentile in the ninety nine percent of the samples is over a certain threshold, then you can actually put this in your log analytics query and then create a alert that way. So that's also available. Um, yeah, so um, Kusto Query Language uh, is something that you definitely want to check it out. And uh, they, in, if you go to Pluralsight, uh, Pluralsight has got, uh, although Pluralsight is not free, but Pluralsight has got a free um, free course, um, I think it's an eight hours course on um, Kusto Query Language. Uh, it's, it's free because Microsoft founded it. Um, so. Um, yeah, so that's something really good to get you started. Um, that's great, Tao. I think that's great start for that. And let's see the next part. We're going to go on, on the run books and go a little bit deep on that. Uh, yeah. So that. next next uh, one we're going to uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, workbooks and uh, uh, something like I I'm I'm a big fan of is uh, service house alerts. Um, so we're going to cover workbooks and uh, service house alerts in the in the next uh, in the next installment. Thank you. Thanks, Tao. So stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe our channel uh, and activate the notifications on YouTube. Thanks. Great. Thank you.